another December daily video in the month of April. <laughs> I'm just teasing. That was so melodramatic. Um, I am working on making process videos for you guys and trying to do the voiceovers now that I finally have time after things have slowed down. I'm going to start by working in my 2019 album. I had two photos from this day, I had gone over to a friend's house to play games, and I had a photo of the game that we were playing, and a photo of one of her giant dogs, and I wanted to scrapbook those um, for the 23rd. I was struggling a little bit, though, because I felt like the photos were pretty busy, and then they were going to go on this busy paper um, with the birds. So I went to my 6x6 six six paper pad stash to see if I could find anything, and I found this Maggie Holmes paper that had all these frames on it. And I thought maybe that would be cute. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that frame paper down and adhere it to one side of my December Daily Junk Journal. And then I'll be able to put my photos and my journaling in those frames. So that's kind of what I decided to do. I measured and realized that I could get three frames across with a little bit of a border around. And then for the photos, I wanted to put them behind the frames. So I grabbed my X-Acto knife and cut out the frame part so that I can adhere the photo of the dog and the photo of us playing games behind that. And I just used some um, adhesive just on the back to stick those down. And I actually really like the way that this one turns out. It's kind of like a fun design for a junk journal to have like photos inside the frames and stuff like that. So in terms of journaling, I just wrote, tonight I went over to Cass's house for a games night. Destiny and Gracie came over too. It was so much fun. I brought peanut butter um, balls for us to snack on and Cass made peppermint hot chocolate for us all. So um, I will do that journaling in just a moment. So once I had put the photos behind the frames, I adhered that uh, piece of pattern paper with the frames down. And then I wanted to add the date. So I went through my stickers to see what I had. And I found a sticker from Feed Your Craft that had like a blue label almost. I used my mega date stamp there and stamped half of it. So just December 23rd, I kept the year off. And that will be the date for this page. And um, then I kind of adhered that at the top of my frame piece of paper there. And then I felt like it needed something more. I didn't want to add a ton of bulk here, but I thought maybe there's some other stickers that I can grab. So I went to my planner sticker stash and I found um, this Sweet Kawaii Design sticker booklet, which I got from Michael's. Um, and I just pulled out some unicorn stickers and a mug sticker, and I'm going to stick th those on a couple of those frames that are on the page. And that's pretty much it for my 2019 page. Um, I did keep it pretty simple. The thing I was realizing around here is that these albums were getting, like, really full, so I needed to think of creative ways to still decorate the pages the way I wanted to without taking up a ton of space or a ton of bulk, but... In the end, when I do um, the finished video reveals for you, like the walkthroughs, you'll see that um, they are very bulky December dailies, and it's just what it is for this for 2018 and 2019. I had so much fun doing these in junk journals, but the one downside of a junk journal is they get really bulky really quickly. But that's okay. I love the way that that page turns out. And now I'm going to move on to my 2018 album. Um, I have a bunch of photos from this day to scrapbook a family and church and just good things like that. So I am just going to start by kind of laying out where I think I might like my photos. Um, there was this vintage um, book illustration that I had pulled out and sewn in there with the bunnies. And so I kind of wanted to find a creative way to put a photo on that page, even though the bunnies are kind of diag, like they're not vertical, they're horizontal or whatever. And then there's that white paper there where I'm going to stick a photo of my mom and some photos of my brother and I in front of a backdrop. And then I had made a photo collage using the Pick Stitch app on my phone 
and I printed these photos off on my Canon selfie and then that photo collage of pictures of my church all decorated is another photo that I'm going to decorate or stick in there and then I had a photo of me holding my Starbucks drink um, while we were driving home from church that day. So that's kind of what I went for. I did end up using a lot of pages for today so this is just the 20 third, but I used one, two, skipped a page three, four, five pages. But again, that's one of the beautiful things about a junk journal December daily is you can kind of just create on as many pages as you like and just kind of make it work. I wasn't kind of limiting myself that way, if that makes sense. I then went to see what die cuts I had and I had a bunch of different die cuts from Feed Your Crafts a little banner that said tis the season, another banner that said holiday details, a circle that says we bring good tidings to Christmas trees. I also had a couple of tabs, one that said wonder in green and one that said magical in orange. And I'm going to just adhere those down. On the magical one, the orange one, I did use my tiny attacher. I stapled it before I glued it down so that it could have the look of the staples without having to staple through the paper. And then I went to see what other embellishments I might have and I ended up using these cute little stars from Freckled Fawn. I'll link those for you. And while I'm doing that, why don't I read my journaling? It's hard for me to get a photo with my dad and I, so when I was able to snag this one, I was so excited. We went for lunch today, all four of us. We went to Symposium. I love spending time with my mom, dad, and Josh. We chatted about church, work, Josh's visa, and so much more. Love these people so. Josh came with me to the candlelight service at Into One. We went to the bakehouse before the service. I managed to convince Josh to do a photo shoot. I love the candlelight service at Into One so much. This Christmas season, I feel keenly aware that this will be my last Christmas home for a number of years. Each moment, memory, memento just means so much. My one little word this season is savor and it feels like the perfect word to describe what I'm trying to do. One of my favorite traditions I, each year is going to the candlelight service at church. It was so precious to go and sit with Josh and let the Christmas carols fill us with joy. I'm really glad um, to go but I'm really going to miss this. And then on the Starbucks photo it just says my favorite Starbucks drink this year is the caramel apple spice. Mm. So I did draw some lines out for most of my journaling. Um, I just have been really liking that style of the messy drawn lines and then doing the journaling on top of that. And then I did add the, um, as you saw there, some black and white washi tape and a puffy sticker 23 for the date number. I've been adding those um, December Daily Puffy sticker numbers each day in my 2018 album and I kind of really like the consistency of having that every time. So I hope that you guys are still enjoying December Daily, the videos that never seem to end on my channel. Um, there will be a few more and I'm hoping to edit them soon and get them out very quickly and then we can move on to other content. Um, I did post a couple of other things in there as well but just felt like I needed to. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a lovely day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!